this is going to be an episode where we're going to um, make a massive macaroni cheese for everyone. Uh, it's Friday and hopefully come next Wednesday uh, we go back down to level two. Uh, but until then we need to probably have some more recipes. So I've pre-cooked some macaroni. We've got two packets of macaroni, so 500 gram packets. And I've also done quite a large amount of bacon, about 600 grams of bacon and one and a half onions I've diced up and then sauteed, which means just lightly fried with a little bit of mixed herbs. In here I've got a generous, very generous, four to five cups of grated uh, cheese and one punnet of chopped up cherry tomatoes. And because we didn't have any milk, but we had some milk powder, I've made up a litre of milk from that milk powder in the fridge. In here we've got 100 grams of melted butter. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a bechamel sauce. And the bechamel sauce will then become our cheese sauce to go into our macaroni and cheese. I've heated the oven up to uh, 180 degrees. I've melted the butter just so it's not um, burning. I don't want it to go brown. I want it to be nice and um, easy to use. So now I'm just going to briefly take it off the heat. I'm fully aware that I've got an um, element that's on there. I'm going to add in one cup or just a little bit less of flour. So I've got, um, it's a one, one, one. We've got one litre of, water, of milk, one cup of flour and 100 grams of butter. Now I'm just going to sprinkle that in. I'm going to leave a little bit off on one side, just in case. Mix that in. And what I'm doing is making a, a shoe, if you like. So it's like a, a gravy. Now I can put it on here, make it easier to stir. And just, I'm going to add just a little bit of milk at a time. The reason for that, if I add it too quickly, it'll go too lumpy. Now the flour will cook out. What that means is it's not going to taste floury at the end of it. Once I've got it back into a sauce which won't take too long, we're going to put it back on the heat. At the moment it looks quite bloody. I know I'm spilling a little bit of milk. I'm not too worried about that to be honest. Now of course I've cleaned my hands prior to starting this. Now macaroni cheese is, is a good staple mid-winter comfort food. There's not too many people that don't like it. And as our mixture starts to get a little bit more lucid or um, to a liquid itself, that's when we'll be able to pop it back on the heat. Mm. And add a little bit more milk. As you can see, the further I go, the more milk I'm adding. the cheese in to this mixture, we don't need to put all the cheese in because we want to use some of it or save some of it for on the top of our um, macaroni. Okay, now that's about ready to go back onto the stove. As you can see, it's not lumping. So it's going back on the heat, I'm going to add the rest of the milk. Just do it slowly. You don't need to do it too quickly. Quick clean up. Right. Now that the 
this is heating up, I'm going to put the temperature up slightly, not too, if you do it too quickly, what's going to happen is you're going to um, burn the bottom of the pot, alright? And the last thing you want is burnt macaroni and cheese. If you put any burnt flavour in now, you'll taste it for the entire um, meal. I'm going to add some of the cheese. Now I've made quite a lot of cheese because it's macaroni cheese. If it wasn't, if it was just macaroni, it wouldn't be really macaroni, would it? Now, I haven't added any um, salt and pepper yet either. So I do want to add some salt. I don't have any Himalayan pink salt, which is my um, preferred salt to use. If I was using that, I can actually use a little bit more. Remember, when you're adding salt, you can always add more, but you can't take it out, okay? So always just be err on the side of caution. This is a lard mixture, so I wouldn't be too worried. The other thing that goes really well with uh, a bechamel sauce, bechamel sauce is the basis of many, many different sauces and indeed soups, okay? It is nutmeg. So we're just going to do a sprinkling of nutmeg. You don't want too much because nutmeg is actually quite powerful. It's quite a strong spice. But I wish we had smell -o vision because I guarantee you there's some smells that are going around the classroom now. Is everyone looking forward to some lunch? Yeah. No? No? Now, you might think this is quite um, runny. This will thicken up very, very quickly, so I'm not going to be too worried about that. As it heats up, you can see that the bits of cheese are starting to melt. And it's going all through the sauce. Now, I've got two dishes just to my right here which I've pre-greased. What I mean by that is I'll put some butter around the dish. The reason I do that is because I don't want my mixture to stick. I'll put my spices and my salt and pepper off to one side. Try and always keep a clean workspace. If you keep a clean workspace, then you'll find it easier not just at the end, but to work around. Now you can hear that, that lovely sound of it just thickening up. Oh. Mm. Okay, and you can see it's kind of all melted in now. And that is your basic bechamel cheese sauce. I'm going to turn the heat off. Now, remember, those elements are still hot, all right? Now, I'm going to halve the mixture into our bowls. Now, I've used these big bowls because it's going to be easier to mix it in. Our tomatoes. Now instead of putting the tomatoes <coughs> into the mix, what we're going to do is we're going to halve them into the bowls. The reason I want to do that is because if I put them in here and mix them up, they'll break out up quite a lot and we won't get these lovely whole pieces of tomato. Well, sorry, um, the half tomato. It will be mushy and not as nice. Because what you want is a burst of flavour when you, when you take a bite of this. But hopefully it's going to be really nice macaroni and cheese. Spread them around a bit. Make sure they're even because obviously the boys will be going, oh, I didn't get as much. Now 
Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned or not, but when I did the um, bacon and the onion, I added in a little bit of mixed herbs. Not too much. So we'll just spread it around a little bit. And I'll swap them over. Mix up the other one. Spread it around a bit. And now the last couple of things we need to do, of course, is put on our the last of our cheese. Sprinkle that over. As you can see, this is pretty easy, so you guys should be able to make it at home. Although some of the recipes I've seen you guys make at home have been really complicated um, and look amazing. So don't forget to share more recipes with me. And just for a last little bit of, of flavour and colour for the top, what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle a tiny bit of paprika. golden brown on the, on the top. You'll notice I'm doing it from a height. The reason for that is if you do it from a height, you'll get more of an even coverage. So I'm going to pop this into our oven, preheated oven to 180. One will go on the top. Be very careful. Obviously this is the only time I'm going to be touching the, the dishes without oven mitts. You'll notice that one's further back and one is further to the front. And then I'll put our timer on for about 25 minutes, but I will be checking that after about 15 minutes and just keeping an eye on it. So, send your own recipes um, to me as well. I'll show you in a photo what it looks like when it comes out. Enjoy. <laughs>